welcome back to Way of Yao. My name is Yao, and it is a pleasure to see you all. So, for this video, as you know by the title, we will be doing eye makeup that is a recreation of a very, very, very talented MUA from Instagram, Shine.Shadows. His arm work is absolutely gorgeous and I've always known in the back of my mind I wanted to recreate one of his looks. But I didn't know which one until I saw this one pop up the other day and I said to myself, you know we're going to get into some dangs now. So I will be recreating this look and I'm so excited to do this. I have actually tried to film this already and it didn't come out the way I wanted it to. But I feel as though now that I've tried it once, you know, trial and error, hopefully the second time round it will come out looking the way I want it to look. So, let's get into some things. If you're not already a part of the family, make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be first to be notified whenever I upload a brand new video. Make sure to hit that like button if you actually enjoyed watching this video and make sure to leave in the comment section what you guys would like to see next. I know some of you asked for more hair videos and more skincare, so they will be coming very soon. Stay, you know, stay with it. Bear with me, it gonna come, okay? And without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. So first things first, I'm going to start off with my eyeshadow base and I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Erase Eye Concealer in the shade Nude. I like to take a really light concealer just to help those colours really show up true to colour and be really vibrant and pigmented. And for my eyeshadow palette, I'm going to be taking the Glitter Realm Summertime Palette. And this one is so gorgeously pigmented. It's really good for all of your main colours like your reds, yellows, greens and blues. It is absolutely gorgeous. So that is what I'm going to be taking along my, just above my crease area. And I'm going to be stamping those colours on to really get them pigmented. And while I do that, I'm going to be blending them into one another. I did find that the yellow in this palette was a little bit difficult to blend out however we made it work we are going to go ahead and add some loose pigments on top of these so the yellow not being as pigmented didn't matter as much however using it on its own it might not be as pigmented as you might like it to be okay and now taking my stargazer pigments i'm going to be taking the orange the yellow and also the green I literally just use these as a top up because when you use them on their own it can be a little bit more difficult for it to really cling to the skin so I like to use an eyeshadow palette first and then place these pigments on top just to make sure that it is nice vibrant and pigmented and I'm just blending them together so that you get a nice seamless cute finish now I'm taking my eyeliner. This is actually from Gosh. I absolutely love this eyeliner. They do two. They do a wet look and they also do a matte look. This is the wet one. And as you can see, we are literally just defining that shape and almost cutting the crease. Well, just above the crease. Then I take a baby wipe and clean up that lower area of my eye and as you can see we are looking gucci and ready for the next step now i'm going to take more of that concealer and i'm going to be placing that just on my eye as we now need to place more colors along there and as you can see in reverse i'm going to be taking the green then the yellow then the orange and then the red basically just repeating the same steps that we used on the top of the eyelid but this time on the bottom of the eyelid and I'm going to be honest with you guys, this look was not the easiest for me simply because I have not done a lot of line work recently. However, I'm getting more and more into doing more lines and things of that nature. So hopefully next time we go and slay the first time around. So once you feel you have those colours blended out to perfection and they are nice and pigmented, we're just going to take a baby wipe to clean up the edges of that concealer as I usually do. Now I'm going to take my first step nourishing primer. This is from Makeup Forever. They sent me a whole bunch of stuff and their makeup is absolutely bomb. We're going to skip a little bit of the next process because you've seen me apply foundation and we're going to move right into the contour. This is the 120 foundation that I actually use for contour. This is from Tilt Makeup and it is so gorgeous, deep, dark, rich and pigmented. Sis. This is one of the few 
products I've been able to find that are dark enough to actually contour with. Now I'm gonna take my two concealers from Makeup Forever. These are the HD concealers in the shades 53 and 52. I actually like these concealers because they are full coverage but they don't feel too thick on the skin. I definitely say that 52 is quite nice because it really does help to brighten it. You better blend, 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 blend. Literally, we are just blending and blending and blending. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my face off camera and move right along to the eye. I'm gonna take that same liner from Gosh and I'm going to be extending my inner corners as I do. I'm gonna take the Tarty Lashes to really snatch this eye look. Now taking the yellow neon eyeliner from Stargazer, I'm gonna enhance those inner corners and make them pop. And now taking my Pop Beauty crush illuminating powder i'm gonna really snatch the high points of my face that being the cheekbones chin and nose and now finally on to the lips guys i'm gonna take one of my favorite matte liquid lipsticks this is from kat von d and it's in the shade which is literally if you guys have been following me for a long time you would know i have been using this lipstick for years now literally this is such a stunning colour. I mean, it's black. What more can you want? <laughs> so I literally just use that to outline the lip to give it a nice shape. And then I'm going to take that same concealer that I've been using on the eye and place it in the centre of the lip. This concealer literally works so beautifully for anything. So I'm just going to ombre that into the black and then I'm going to take my neon pigment from Stargazer and literally just press that over the white so that it has a base to work with. Setting my face with the Anastasia Dewy Setting Spray, we are more or less finished. And this is the final look. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this tutorial. I had such an amazing time filming it. As you guys know, it did really well on Instagram as well. It's currently on 300,000 views, which is a lot. So you guys are really loving it over there. So I really wanted to show you guys how to create this look in more depth on YouTube. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.